Hello everybody! I uh, figured I might as well show my face. Uh, I'm the one who's been working on these strange contraptions that I keep building. Uh, I got my go-kart over there. Hopefully it's on. Here we go. I got the go-kart right there. Uh, the box is still in the back of it. I haven't touched this since the last time I did I guess 11 months ago. The lights are still not hooked up, but I mean, I haven't been driving it at nighttime, so it hasn't been a necessity. It is fun. I took it for a quick ride around the yard today. That was a lot of fun. I wanted to follow up with what I mentioned in my previous video about my John Deere. As you can see, the front is no longer the same as what it last was. The batteries have been moved. I got an electrical panel for uh, holding all the internal components again. I moved everything so there's no longer just, let's get a good shot, no more longer just wires hanging out. Let's see if, it's, yeah. See, these remaining wires are for charging and for display purposes on my uh, dash here. So I have two little voltmeters, uh, one here and one over here. And when it's, I guess I do have one more. I guess I have a key switch. Uh, hopefully you can get a key switch. And I also have my PTO for John Deere, which is right here. That engages or disengages the deck. So that's the remaining wires that are hanging there. I can't really get rid of them. I could probably zip tie them together to clean it up the look. So what I did, if anybody's interested, is I took my two batteries and recombined them into one Chevy Volt master module here. So this is the equivalent of what would have been 96 volts of power, but because of the way I've wired it, these are wired in parallel. So there's still 48 volt modules that are wired together. So I get, what is it, 200 amp hours now? Or whatever the equivalent of one of these is, maybe 50 amp hours, so 100 total. And the wires are located right here. It's not the cleanest, but it's still a lot safer than it used to be. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, right there. Anyway, uh, the balancing joints are right here. The nicety of this is I can just take this battery off if I want to, if I need to replace it ever again, and it'll come off as one unit. And I could just buy more if it ever came to that. I still have my original charger going, same one I used for uh, both the go-kart and the lawnmower. I did kind of ghettoize this, but I mean, I don't have a hood anyway, and this was a throwaway lawnmower, so it is what it is. Uh, the box, it's the same setup as the uh, go-kart over here, I believe, yeah, as the go-kart. It's, I relocated the kill switch to the side of it, just like the uh, go-kart. So the idea here is to make it easy to transfer the setup again. Because I know this frame is going to go bad given time. That's the idea behind doing the whole electric conversion is that I can take my components, throw them on another throwaway lawnmower, and keep going. So, and I have to keep buying new lawnmowers, which cost a lot of money. And this gives me that ability to do that. Anyway, I'll show you what's in the box. And assuming it's easy to do, I'll show you what's in the box. I'm going to put you down for a minute. There we go. So, as you noticed a minute ago, I have a bungee cord that just goes across the top of this. That is not going to cause any problems, or it's not there to hold something in place. It's to keep this door from rattling while driving it, and it does that perfectly fine. I didn't need, think I needed to overthink that. So, door slides down and pops open to present you with all of the internals. And let me see if we can get the angle right. All tracks controller, 400 amp contactor, kill switch. Um, two little, I, I don't know what else to call these. I call them bus bars, but they're really not. They're connector panels. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is where my wires come in the charge and feed for low current ne uh, needs. Uh, this is also where I would come in for my 12 volt out to external needs, like if I had headlights or something. So that's all wired in. I've got my 48 volt to 12 volt down converter here. I got my uh, at, was it a BMS unit down here. I think I can show that. Yeah, this circuit board down here is a BMS unit. It is mounted to a piece of acrylic that is not contact, so it will not short out 
that was the whole premise behind it. But yeah, that's the box idea. It just contains everything. So if I ever want to move on, I literally just take out one screw in the back, two screws in the front, the whole box lifts out, and pull the wires and move on to a different system. Also, this makes it easy if I ever need to replace the brushes in that motor. Let's see if I can close it easily. There we go. It closed. It's good again. See, this is what I meant by the, uh, the bungee. Now let me put you down so I close it again. There we go. And hopefully I'll cut that scene. But yeah, that's the lawnmower. It works great. I really haven't had a problem with it. And I've been using it for years now. It started as a Murray, but I mean, I got a John Deere that had a foot pedal. That really was an upgrade for me. I wanted to have the forward reverse pedals there. I will probably not be updating soon, but you can expect me to do more projects. Uh, since I did these, not that I do everything electric, but I bought a uh, broken generator here and I fixed that guy up. I probably should have videoed it, but now that I know people are watching, I'll go ahead and start doing that, I guess. Anyway, thanks for watching.